Let's get the hell out of here. That is not the way to go. Oh my god. I keep saying it, but I love the increased sprint. It takes longer to recharge fully, but it's it's still awesome. Alright, let's head back up to the skywalk. Now where was that? Well, it wasn't here. Here we go. Those people are still 69ing down there. It's good. It's good for them. I probably just shouldn't go around opening doors. He says as he opens a door. Wake up. It's time to go to sleep. There you go. Colvin's office. Not that I'll need it. Also a good idea to hack all the security terminals. Oh, this one's very linear. There we go. Alright, now cameras won't be a problem. Is this that one room I was in earlier? Yeah, it is. I would like to avoid that room if at all possible. If I can do a double takedown on you two, that would be awesome. That indeed was awesome. Let's move you away from doorways. What is this? Passwords. Don't need them. Right, 1504, nah. Actually, you know what? No, damn it. I don't need the experience anymore. Get the hell out. This lab is off limits to you people. Nice to see you too, Dr. Goldman. What? Wait a second. I know you. You were Seraph's security guy. Way to protect our asses. Hey, check the attitude, Doc. I nearly died trying to save you. Oh, and now you're here to take me back. Well, maybe I don't want to go. Maybe I've got more here than I ever had at Seraph. Would Vasily Sevchenko agree with that? They executed him and dumped his body in a ditch. That's not true. Believe it. Unless these murderers have you so brainwashed, you don't mind building their toys. It wasn't a toy. It... It was a software upgrade that limits functionalities in a biochip. They told me it was for crowd control. Is Vasily really dead? You saw the body? What was left of it? Oh my god. I should have listened to him. Dr. Colvin, I need to free Megan Reed and get everyone else out of here. It means causing simultaneous accidents in three labs. Declan and Eric. Of course. Interesting idea, Mr. Jensen. Ambitious, but risky. The timing will be critical. I'll coordinate the attack. But you understand that this could all backfire. I'm no shrinking violet, Mr. Jensen, but there may be another issue. The GPL tracker, I know. 
I also know about the virus Dr. Sevchenko developed. The one meant to interfere with their security. One step ahead. Just like Vasily. It's a good plan. However, I don't have the virus program. Perhaps you should check with Declan or Eric. Hmm. I haven't yet located Eric Koss, Dr. Colvin. Do you know where they're keeping him? He's working in a lab on the third floor. There's an elevator that might get you there. It's on the second floor, though, and I heard the guard say something about that floor being shut off. But then again, with those neuro enhancements of yours, you might find a way to get into it. Maybe. Dr. Colvin, I need to know I can trust you. You seemed pretty happy to be here until I told you about Dr. Sevchenko. It's been six months, Mr. Jensen. Not long for you, perhaps, but how long can a person live in constant fear? Once they took us out of isolation, it just seemed easier to concentrate on the work. Did all of you feel that way? Vasily didn't. And maybe not Declan either, but the work we do here, the discussions, and the theories. I thought Seraph's projects were far-reaching, but the experiments I've seen going on here, it's the kind of stuff DARPA dreams up every day. Only without governmental oversight keeping you in line. I suppose I'm just a typical scientist to you, right, Mr. Jensen? Blindly pushing boundaries? No care for who's footing the bill or how our discoveries get made? We all have to live with ourselves at the end of the day, Dr. Colvin. You're right, of course. But were things so different in Detroit? We all know where those Seraph contracts came from, don't we? You asked me if you could trust me. You can. But you better get on with this. Okay. I will. In the meantime, stay tuned for the signal. You'll feel a vibration in your GPL. That'll be the time to set off the distraction. I'll be ready. And I'm sorry about what I said. Okay. So now I gotta find an elevator. Is it in here? Let's find out. Alright, this looks fairly straightforward. Access granted. Cool. Wait a minute. There we go. All right. So yeah, lifting heavy objects is definitely very handy. Hello. Don't mind me. What, what do you want? I told you people not to barge in here. Wasn't the new biochip design enough? Dr. Koss, I'm here to get you out. Jensen? From Sarif? But we were told we'd been written off. Not exactly. Listen, Jensen. They forced me to work for them. I didn't want to create the new biochip, especially since it was based on Sarif's research, but they didn't give me a choice. No one doubts your loyalty, Dr. Koss. Do you know what they plan to do with this new biochip? I'm not sure. They said something about having Tai Young Medical produce it and distribute it through Lim, but I, I can't be sure. I've already been in touch with Colvin and Faraday, and we've come up with a plan. If the three of you set off simultaneous explosions in your labs, it might allow me to access the security area and find Megan. Then we all get out of here. Isn't that a little risky? Besides, how will we coordinate these accidents? Uh, it's impossible. Maybe not. But it's that or staying here and eventually ending up like Dr. Sevchenko. They killed him, didn't they? He, he kept provoking them, coming up with these wild escape plans. They try to keep us apart as much as possible now. All right, Mr. Jensen. I'm with you. What's our next move? Listen, Dr. Koss. Dr. Sevchenko had a plan to neutralize the GPL tracker. Yes, he wanted to upload a viral program onto the security control computer to scramble all of their equipment. He gave me a copy in case... in case anything happened to him. Here, I, I never had the courage to use it. Besides, we had nowhere to go. Alright. 
The computer I need to upload this to. Where's it located? Uh, Vasily mentioned a tunnel near the back of the compound. I think it leads to the restricted area security terminals, but, well, I've never used it myself. I, I wish I could be more helpful or even go with you, but. It's probably better that you not come with me. Dr. Koss, the bioship you mentioned was based on Sarif studies? Yes, I believe so. Uh, at first I thought it was merely convergent research, but uh, I've worked with Dr. Reed long enough to recognize her handiwork. Uh, besides, I had been working on something similar back in Detroit. And your knowledge of it made you invaluable here. At least to a certain extent, uh, it probably helped us all stay alive. But now with Dr. Shevchenko, I guess we've all become expendable. Except for Dr. Reed, I suppose. Why do you say that? It's more of a general feeling, I guess. Back in Detroit, uh, we all realized that we were on the verge of something groundbreaking. And here, well, everyone seems to view her research as crucial in some way. That might explain why she's being held in a secured area. Possibly. I'm just glad we're going home. It's kind of hard to believe. We're not out of the woods yet, man. Stay put, Dr. Koss. Once I upload this virus, you'll have to do your part. When you feel a vibration from your GPL, that's the signal to set off the explosion. I'll wait, Mr. Jensen. But hurry. Oh, I can hurry. Did you know that I can sprint for five seconds longer? Uh... Should I go out through here? Actually, yeah, I kind of do want to go out the way that I came in. I need to head back outside to that area I was at earlier, but walked away from. Which means I need to go through the skywalk again. leads outside, right? Yeah. The Protec 500 spinning light. It's the most advanced spinning light in the world. It's also the most expensive. Right, it was this way. Right. I wonder what's in there. I'm kind of curious. Let's find out. I am intrigued. Might as well use the nukes. What have we here? Oh. A laser rifle. That sounds awesome, but deadly. Right, let's wait for that bot to go back. Can't see the camera from here, though.
Alright, very nice. Anything in here I should get before I do things? EMP grenade. And money. Mine template? Nah. To hell with that. Right, so what are we dealing with here? Alright, good. I got plenty of time. Access granted. Sweet. Turn off the camera. Is that what I... There we go. Upload the virus. Pritchard, are you still tracking the scientists? Of course. Simulate feedback along that route. Make it strong enough to vibrate their implants. They have to feel it. A signal, eh? Not bad, Jensen. I'm sending it now. Oh, damn. Alright, so we got some guards heading out there, but this bot is the only thing standing in my way. I could probably stun it, but it seems like it's not necessary. Let's go! What's near? Oh, they're stalking you up. You know what that means. I smell me a boss fight coming up. And what I said earlier, when I was fighting Barrett, that you can't do takedowns on bosses, but then I said you actually can. This is where you can do it. Your tenacity, Adam Jensen, is really quite irritating. We'd like you to stop now. I'm afraid I can't, so... You see, I figured it out. I know what you and your conspiracy buddies are planning. Do you? How clever. A new biochip. A software upgrade that limits what augmentations can do. You're creating a kill switch. You kidnap Megan Reed's team to do it, and you're seizing control of the market to ensure it gets distributed. All because you're afraid of people like me. Augmented people, with the power to resist you. No one's afraid of you, Mr. Jensen. All your blundering around and childish interference hasn't stopped a thing. Tell me, have you been to a limb clinic lately? Nope. Let me guess. That was supposed to shut me down, right? Leave me broken and begging? The Orgs were recalled. You should be offline! <laughs> Women never fail to underestimate men. You should have stayed dead, Jensen. Oh, damn. Do you realize how hopeless this is? You not leave here. Ah, oh, crap. Goodbye, my friend. Nope. Oh. That was not timed correctly. So what you gotta do is, as soon as he lands, when he jumps over a wall, that's when you do a takedown on him. And he just instantly goes down. No bullets or anything required. So let's see if I can pull that off again. Boom! 
There you go. Easy mode. Finish it. Not until you tell me where Megan is. You've lost her, Jensen. Men like us. We never get back the things we love. <sighs> Alright. I have no idea if that was what they intended. But, uh, there you go. That is the easiest boss in the world. I like how the shotgun slid open as well. EMP grenade. That's nice. Any more of those things? Ah. Lots of laser rifle stuff around here. Delicious energy bar. I will loot your corpse for a thousand credits. Oh, nice. Alright, that's all of them, I think. So there you go, that's a, that's a pro tip for you right there. You can turn it into the easiest boss fight in the world. Let's go say hello to Megan. Jaren, is that you? Not exactly. What happened to you? I risked my life for you, Megan. I came halfway around the world, and for what? It's not what you think. Are you part of this? No! No, Adam, I swear it! The kidnapping was real. The attack on Seraph Industries, they came after me. They wanted my research. And when did you decide they could have it? It didn't happen like that. I wanted to tell you, but I couldn't. I couldn't! And then David said we had to use it. We owed it to mankind. David, what are you talking about? My great discovery. The genetic framework I found that makes it easier for living tissue to bond with implants. I found it. In you, Adam. I used your DNA. I wanted to tell you, I swear. But David convinced me what it could mean for mankind. How much better off we could all be. It took Hugh to make me see how wrong I was. Hugh? Hugh Darrow. He owns this facility. After Namir brought us here... Richard! Patch me into Seraph, now! Adam, please! He was only pretending to work with Tai Young and the others. He found out what they were planning to do and told them he would help. But only to make sure they never succeeded. Their control signal won't work. Thank you, David. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Sarif here has asked me to show the world how human enhancement technology can change it. After careful deliberation, I've decided I must do exactly that. Forgive me. the control signal. Anyone with the new biochip will be affected. Hugh never said anything about this. I'm going back for the scientists. No, Adam! I know the complex better than you. I'll find them. There's a hangar bay through there. Get to its control room and retract the roof. Clear a path for us. Oh, damn. People going crazy. Alright, let's just go. Jensen, what the hell's going on out there? 
Broadcast frequencies are going haywire. Malik, is that you? Where are you? Coming into visual range of Singapore now. Been in the air since Pritchard first pinged you. Good timing. I'm heading for a hangar bay to open the roof. I'll need an emergency extraction. Roger that. I'm on my way. Alright. Let's do it. Hey, Jensen! Looks like you could use some help! Nice. I see the scientist, Jensen. I'm landing nearby. And I think... Dr. Reed wants to speak to you. Hang on. Run, you crazy bastards. Hello? Adam? We're all fine, but you have to get to Panchea and stop Hugh. You and I aren't done with this, Megan. I know how it looks, but you have to stop the broadcast. I think it's causing the new biochips to overstimulate the vagus nerve, creating terrifying hallucinations. You mean it's driving augmented people insane? Yes, and it's up to you to stop it. Use the Leo shuttle. It will take you to Panchea. Good luck, Adam. Oh man, we're gonna shuttle to the Arctic. And I like how there's like little changes to this part in particular, like if if Malik had died in that explosion, if you hadn't saved her, these dudes would have just been roaming free and you'd have to get past them. But no, she took care of him. Because she's awesome. Alright. Let's do this. Let us go to Panchea. Automated systems online. Darrow sequence 1. Code 1. 1A. Preset and ready to engage. Suborbital trajectory plotted. Destination Panchea. Begin countdown, Mr. Darrow. Yeah. Begin countdown. Code zero zero zero. Confirm zero. Countdown commencing. Damn, that thing moves fast. Well, that's lovely. Luckily, it doesn't affect me in any way. Because as soon as I load... I am safe! Haha! -ha. Jensen! Jensen, can you read me? Barely. I've reached Panchea, Pritchard. Any word from Sarah for the UN delegates? Nothing. The installation went into lockdown shortly after Darrow gave his speech. I can't tell if anyone's even alive. And the signal's still broadcasting. Meaning no one's safe till I get in there and shut it down. You'll have to disengage the lockdown first. Look for a master control panel at the top of the tower. That's quite a ways. Quite a ways indeed. Let's do this thing. <laughs> 